this pandemic, it's gonna weed out the weak. Just because you're quarantined, just because you got laid off, just because you're not going to school right now, it does not mean it, this should stop you or it, it should impede your goals from being the hardest worker in the room. I have actually been waking up earlier during this pandemic. It's about 4, 4.30. Just so I can wake up, just so I can work out twice a day and work more during the day. So this is my quarantine workout. So I start my mornings with about a mile run. You see, I hate cardio. I hate running. And I figured what better way to build on what I suck at during than now. Hey, yo, I'm, 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 I'm at home. I should work on my weaknesses. So I stay here on this strip and do about one mile. And then you hear that? Just hear this. You hear that? We're getting up before everybody else. That peace and quiet, that emptiness, that's grind time. That's what you use to work hard. That's your motivation to know that right now during quarantine, this is when people are giving up. This is when people are stuck at home and sleeping until 10. I don't want you to be most people. Just finish a 6.30 mile, 6 minute 30 mile. Not for me, it sucks because, yo, I don't run. My goal though is to probably try to get this under six and try to do sub six miles by the end of this quarantine. So now I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna do 100 push-ups declined. If you guys follow me on YouTube, you know I challenged myself to do 300 push-ups every single day, 100 in the morning, 100 during lunch, 100 at night, and see how that transforms my chest, which by the way, I've been doing for about 18 days now. I'm repping these out like crazy. However, these 100 push-ups after a mile jog, they kinda suck. Damn, I need to stop screaming. I'm gonna wake up everybody. But that's, that's the energy you need during this quarantine. Don't let anybody put you down, all right? Everybody's having a hard time right now. Everybody has an obstacle right now. So if you stick to a solid routine, something that's gonna better yourself every day, you're gonna feel more motivated, you're gonna feel more confident, and hopefully when this crap is over, you're gonna be in a better state than when you went into it. So right now, it's about 5.11. I just got a whole workout in. Now I'm gonna hop in the shower. When you get in the shower, you wanna have everything you need, all your essentials in one spot. Let me give you an example. I have my face wash in here, my favorite body wash, my manscaping trimmer, my favorite facial scrubbing tool. That way, when I'm in here, and then sub five minutes, I can do all of my grooming and hygienic needs that I need to do even while in quarantine to take care of myself. Because when you take care of yourself, think of yourself like a car, right? If you wash it and polish it all the time, it's just a sign that you actually love that car and that you value it. Think of yourself like a Ferrari. You should be polishing and washing yourself every day with the best grooming techniques that you know so you look good even when you're quarantined up. Also, if I'm whispering, because they're not cycles like I am and they wake up a little later. The point is, with showers you want to be efficient. You want to be in and out as quick as possible. The longer you're in here, the more the water can damage your skin. Most dermatologists recommend that your showers shouldn't be more than five minutes. Here's another self-care hack that you should do every morning. I do this every day that I'm stuck at home. Apply cologne. This is similar to a shower step that I do. You do not, I, I do not want to let myself go because these habits and routine are important to build that long-term discipline that is great for everything in life. So I still take care of myself to the point that I even apply my favorite cologne every morning even though I'm stuck at home because you know what, it makes me feel confident, it makes me feel good and yo, 
wifey appreciates it. So yes, I'm still gonna get dressed, and that's because it puts me in work mode. It, it, it's a mindset shift that occurs when you put on clothes that make you feel good. If I stay in my sleeping clothes, guess what's gonna happen? My, fo- my body's gonna feel lethargic. I'm gonna feel like I just wanna sleep all day. But as soon as I'm done showering, I shift as if I'm gonna head out the door to go to the office. That way I stay in that mentality of working. Okay, now I'm gonna start cooking my breakfast. This is great time to listen to an audiobook, and this is what I do. This peace and quiet is perfect time to soak in any information that you want from a good audiobook without any distractions. It's also a great way to almost like jumpstart your brain to start thinking creatively. So what I like to do, I have this cool speaker at home. I've talked about it before where it splits in half. So I put one in one corner of the kitchen and then the other one in the other. I turn them on. I open my Audible app. And I just open up the book that I'm listening to this morning. I've showed you and I've talked to you guys about a lot of books that I listen to through Audible. There's there's thousands of selections from fiction to nonfiction to motivational to business. Whatever you could think of, there's a book for you in Audible. So this is why I like this subscription because you'll find anything for anyone. Now, one of the books that I love the most, which I've talked about before, is Can't Hurt Me. This was by a guy named David Goggins. If you're a guy that just... Especially for times like this, that, that you need to build mental toughness and, and you're feeling down and you want motivation, you want to get that motivation back, you need to listen to this book. Start your mornings with this, bro, you're, you're going to be unstoppable. And, and here's the thing. This is how I see this whole quarantine thing. If you can learn a new skill, listen to a new, new book, or come out of this quarantine better than how you came into it, you have won. If you can't do any of that, you can never complain and say that you can't do certain things because you don't have enough time. If you can't do it now, that just means that that's lack of discipline in your end and that should be a wake-up call to you to start taking action. All this free time, you should use it for something positive. Don't look at it as as a negative. This is going to benefit you. And with their sponsor, Audible, here's the best part. They're going to hook you up. Like This means that you have zero excuses because for the first month, you're going to get it free. So if you don't even know where to start, like how to start to become better, maybe it's your mile run or doing push-ups at home. You don't know where to start. Everything, all that seems tough. There's one place where you could start that you're going to become better intellectually. You're going to gain more information. And that's by listening to audiobooks. You could do it every morning for about 10 minutes. You got all the time in the world. And this first month, is free. And within that month, they're going to give you enough credits to get one free audiobook and two Audible originals. Start building that discipline and show yourself that you can actually gain skills, knowledge, and do something positive during this time while everybody else is sleeping, playing video games because they got nothing better to do. You do. So boys, if you guys want to check out our sponsor, you guys can go to audible.com slash TMF or, or text TMF to 500, 500 And like I said, check out all the different selections and using those free credits, you can pick up free audiobooks for this month to start listening to something amazing. Now I'm going to start cooking my breakfast. So for most of you, you know, I'm kind of a hard gainer, which basically means that now that I've stopped lifting because they freaking closed the gyms, I start losing my muscle mass. And I wasn't going to let that happen to myself. What did I do? I bumped up my calories. My breakfast is one of my strongest meals of the day. I eat about 1,200 calories every day, usually consisting of which I'm going to show you six eggs, a whole bagel, two bacon strips, one actual bacon, one turkey bacon, orange juice, crackers, banana, and coffee. See, boys, if you want to keep your mass during this quarantine, it's important that you start eating healthy and start eating more, especially if you're a hard gainer, to keep as much as you can. And that's it, boys. Now that I'm full, now that I'm few, I want to show you something real quick. You see that? At 6 o'clock. This is why I wake up early. I am now done eating. And to be fair, I'm a little behind schedule because I've been bringing you guys along and, you know, recording every scene. But waking up this early, I have now put in a full workout. I have showered. I have taken care of myself. I have dressed myself. I have eaten well. I have consumed information and just jump-started my brain to start operating. It's still six. Most of you will probably, by the time you watch this, you'll start waking up around, what, nine, ten? I'll be four hours ahead of schedule. Those are four hours that I'm going to use right now to go work which I'm going to take you with me right now. But I just want to, I want to highlight that to you.
right? You should never stop trying to be the hardest working guy in a room. Even if there's nobody in the room, just know in your head, you are still the hardest working guy. And if somebody outworks you, that is your problem. It is not everything else. It is not your situation or how you were brought up or your skin tone color. It's none of that. It is your own effort that's stopping you from accomplishing anything that you want. So yes, this, this is a shared desk, so don't mind the books. That's not for me. Usually I sit here and work every day. This is when I start thinking creatively. So whether it's video topics that I'm going to do, answering emails, and more importantly, since it's Friday, what we usually do is we have team meetings every Friday with every department for every company. Since all of them are working from home and some are even in other states, I like to sit with all of them through a Skype call for at least 30 minutes for the influencer marketing team, content creation, customer service, warehouse and logistic team, and the design team. We kind of sit down with each individual one for about 30 minutes each a slot and just kind of go and give everybody tasks to do for the following week from home. That way we can keep the company running and again, be as efficient and as effective as possible. We should not let this cripple us both on a personal level and on a business level if you own your own business but more importantly this is great to keep all the employees on track as well and give them something to do uh, we have thankfully we have not had to lay off any employees and we're able to keep everybody on board even though we're probably going to be shut down for another two months but i just want to leave you guys with one last bit of advice that just it's been nagging me in my brain and that's that it's about to get ugly, guys. I'm going to be blunt with you. And not even from the virus itself. I think more so from the financial fallout because of this crisis. So the way that I see this, to, to, to face this monster on, take it one step at a time, one day at a time, one rep at a time so you can weather the storm. This is why I said in the beginning when I was running, this whole crisis, this whole event is going to weed out the weak in business and in competition in whatever field you are in and only the strong are going to actually survive. I want you to be that strong person that survived. This is why it's so important to continue on your routine and why I'm still doing my own routine every single day and continue to put your head down and work. The best analogy that I can think of this is like when I'm working out, I don't know if you work out, but if you have ever done a brutal workout, a workout that's just kicking the crap out of you, you usually start doubting yourself in your head. In my head, I'll be like, will I make it? This is stupid. Why am I even doing this? Hey, nobody's looking. I can turn around now. I can just say I did all the sets. I can just say I did my two miles. I don't have to finish it. This is this hurts. This is uncomfortable. Well, that's what real life is about to feel like. You're going to start doubting yourself like crazy. When all that doubt is running through my head as I'm running or, I'm, or as I'm doing a hundred push-ups and then I'm about to fail, there's this deep down voice. It's subtle. It's mellow. It's very faint. And all I hear me tell myself is one step at a time, one rep at a time, one foot in front of another. Just do one more squat, do one more push up, take one more step. What you want to stop doing is looking at everything you have to do to complete that workout. And instead, look at what you have to do that's right in front of you. Don't think about the 100 push ups. Think about you have one push up to do right now. Don't think about the two miles. Think about I need one more step right now. And then before you know it, you look up and you've completed that workout from hell and you've come out the other end a stronger badass than when you started it. Well, imagine these next brutal times that are about to come. It's going to get bad, right? Imagine that as a brutal workout. So if you are going through tough times right now, or maybe you will go through tough times in the future, I want you to put your head down and do one rep at a time, one step at a time, and you're going to go through hell and you'll survive a better badass.